What is going on boys and girls? Your favorite uncle is back with another video. That's right, we're gonna be doing a review on G Fuel Spiral of the Dragon. You got sparks right here, you have spiral right here. Love the artwork. It also comes with the uh the sticker. Pretty sure every pre-order box you get a sticker. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I did get this yesterday. And I was trying to make a video on it. And I just didn't like the way the video turned out. But uh, before we get into it, let's look at the cup. I do love the cup design. Also, you know, the mixer purple pretty cool now let's go ahead and look at the artwork on this here tub I think they went for a Spyro the Reunite trilogy look here and I gotta say they did a fantastic job a very very good job All right, here's a fun fact that some of y'all might not know. David Spade played in one of the Spyro video games. And also, hopefully I'm saying this name right because I couldn't say the name for nothing the last time I was trying to make this video. Elijah Woods, you know, the dude from Lord of the Rings, he also voiced Spyro. In one of the uh, Spyro games. So David Spade played as Sparks. In one of the Spyro games. And Elijah Woods. From Lord of the Rings voiced Spyro. It makes me feel like I'm saying everything wrong here. That's what it feels like. But it's okay. We'll fix that in a second won't we. Hopefully anyway. Now, I'm not going to lie, this scooper, you can tell it's, you know, opened, and my sour power one, it's closed all the way, so, now when I grab a scoop, it just goes, it's like cracking an egg, it'll just spill right in there every time. We're going to keep this thing rolling, even if I did mess up, it's fine. I need some caffeine anyway. Haven't had any today. All right. How many of y'all grew up playing Spyro? I know I did. My first game was uh, Spyro the Dragon on the PlayStation 1. And I've played the Reunite trilogy because you got Spyro the Dragon. I don't think you have the second spiral game that came out and then you know the third one i played the first one when i was growing up and uh i gotta say i like the graphics but i can't lie y'all i'm more an old school gamer you know because when i play a game i play a game like when i'm really into a game i will not leave i'll sit there and play that game till i beat it i don't care if it takes 12 14 hours of non-stop action with only a couple of breaks to go use the bathroom and grab something neat, you know? Or even shower for that matter. And then I'll come back and I'll finish my game. But let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite Spyro game or what's your favorite game to play? It's got a good smell to it, I'm not gonna Lie to y'all on that. Reminds me of candy, like a candy smell. Maybe sweet tarts. I wouldn't push sweet tarts just yet. Definitely hint a uh, great flavor. Let's uh, crack and 
Let's look and see which color it is on there. Okay, we get kind of like a grape. I'm going to attempt to try to pour it in here without screwing it up. Oh, yeah. I made a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. Yeah, you got somewhat of a... It's going every day, don't worry. Because I didn't crack... I didn't uh, close the lid all the way. But most definitely, you have a great look as far as the liquid. Um, man, I'm telling y'all, apparently I need to go back to bed and go sleep. All right, let's try this again. Now, if this whole thing spills on me, I ain't going to worry about it. The lid's closed now. Everything's good. Yeah, I get a great flavor with this. That's just me. I know when I was making the video, when I first received the package in the mail, I was going over and I was like, you know, tastes a little bit like the actual fruit of dragon fruit. And I went from that to saying it was like a sweet candy, almost, then I said it tastes like Big Lee Chew. But uh, overall, I get more of a grape candy flavor. Can't tell you which one, though. Either grape candy or grape Kool-Aid. That's the taste I'm getting. It's not that bad. Consider the fact that I've had quite a few bit of uh, G Fuels and there's only three of them I like. You can go ahead and count this one because I do, I do like this one. Uh, PewDiePie's Cherry. And then uh, Knuckles, the Sour Power. I enjoy it. The rest of them I tried, care less about it. Because some of the flavors that I've tried, it reminded me of going to a convenience store. And you know Smart Water, right? They sell them there and they got the you know different variety of flavors. And that's what the taste reminded me of. You know, it has more of a water taste to it than it does with flavor. And to me, when I'm drinking something outside of water, I like to have flavor, you know what I'm saying? So, this ain't the case here. You know, I taste some flavor. I mean, don't get me wrong, I taste water. But I'm also getting some good flavor action going on here. It kind of reminds me like I'm drinking Kool-Aid. And I don't really like Kool-Aid. I'll be honest with y'all. Now, when I was a kid, I could probably drink about two gallons of Kool-Aid a day. All right. <clears throat> but it sucks when you get older. You don't have the quite the taste for things like you used to. But this one I love. We'll just call this the energy Kool-Aid drink, okay? And I I dig it. I like it. Hey, I give them a three and a half out of five. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I do enjoy it. But I'm only going to bump up the uh, rating just because of how good they did a good job. So I'll give them a 4 out of 5. Just because they did a good job. Let's take one more look before we end. Did a good job on this here artwork. And also they did a good job on the uh, 
cup here. Now, <clears throat> if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe. It's free. It ain't gonna cost nothing. You can unsubscribe later on down the road if you want to. Be sure to share the video. And if you enjoy G Fuel, let me know what your favorite G Fuel is down below. Till next time, y'all. It's been Uncle Mudkit. I'll catch y'all on the next one.